Making digital avatars is a notoriously difficult, tedious, and expensive process. It requires a team of digital artists and engineers with professional hardware and software to make a lifelike digital character. Wouldn't it be great if we had a tool that could create a digital avatar instantly by using just a single photo of a person? In this demo, we will present a technology that does just that and its application to video conferencing, storytelling, and beyond. Hi, this is Kevin. Yeah, ready for the interview? Yeah. So it says you're presenting a new AI-driven digital avatar technology to me today. Tell me all about it. All right. Before we begin, can you tell me how I look on your screen? Um, looks like you're wearing a blue collar shirt and have recently shaved. Would you believe me if I told you I'm actually wearing a t-shirt, hat and mask and chilling in a coffee shop? Coffee shop? Wait, no, that's definitely not what I'm seeing on my screen. Yes, what you're seeing is the new AI-driven digital avatar technology I want to demonstrate to you today. The digital avatar you're speaking to is created by using just a single photo of me. I was never 3D scanned, nor were my photos used during training. The digital avatar creation is instantaneous, so I can quickly create a different avatar by using a different photo. In fact, let me quickly create an avatar. Here's one using a photo of me in a suit. And here's another one. It's using a photo taken last week. Wait, how are you getting all that facial motion out of just a still photo? Sure, let me explain. It all starts with speech. We transmit only my voice to your machine over the internet. The voice is then used to drive an AI model called audio to face, which is a technology that takes my speech as input and generates lip synced facial motions and expressions for a 3D head model in real time. The system generates natural 3D facial motion, including emotions, lips, eyes, and head motion. The motion of the 3D head model is then fed to another AI model called wit to wit which can animate a photo of a person. Since it takes audio as input, we can drive facial animation using any voice. For example, I can say, hey, hey, this is my funny voice, or in any language, hello, my name Arun. Hai. By switching to a different photo, we have a different avatar. This is the power of having an AI model that can create a digital avatar by just using a single photo. We can even create cartoon avatars with this technology. This is what we get by simply plugging in a cartoon avatar image. By using StyleGAN, we can generate a wide range of 2D avatars. Using this technology, we can bring them to life, like what you're seeing right now. Nice. So how does it work with so many different avatars? wit to wit achieves this amazing capability because it was trained with a large number of videos which included various facial appearance features and motions. Now, uh, let me change back to a photo of the real me. Wow, so it's still really hard to believe that you got this working so smoothly in a video conferencing pipeline. And also, our deep network's really slow, and like, what about the bandwidth? Our AI models are optimized for GPUs, allowing us to easily achieve 30 frames per second using a PC with an RTX GPU. It's also extremely bandwidth efficient because we never have to transfer a full image over the network. Since we are not even using a webcam, without this technology, all you'd be getting is just my voice. Nice. Well, that sounds perfect for my next, my next business trip. I'm glad you like it. Uh, sorry, the coffee grinder in the background is making a lot of noise. Let me mute my mic and quickly switch to text. Wait, text? Don't you just want to, do you want to call me back when you're somewhere quieter? Hi, Kevin. Hope you can hear me. Yeah, loud and clear, but you said you were texting? Yes, my microphone is on mute and I'm typing on my laptop. Let me introduce the third exciting technology, Rad TTS. Rad TTS is our latest text to speech method based on deep learning. It is robust and can synthesize a lifelike speech from arbitrary text inputs in milliseconds. Oh, that's awesome. So with all the stuff you've shown me today, you could just be like calling in from a beach and no one would know. Absolutely. This digital avatar creation technology can bring video conferencing to the next level. Yeah, I, I can see that. Are there any other applications you want to show me today? 
It also allows for virtual assistants and accessible content creation. All you need is a single picture. Rad TTS can even personalize the voice, meaning that we can even narrate a famous storyline with our own characters. For example, I'm going to create an avatar to represent a famous character from the novel, A Song of Ice and Fire, and make her speak her signature sentence in the book. I am Daenerys Stormborn of the House Targaryen, the first of her name, the Unburnt, Queen of Meereen, Queen of the Andals and the Rohinar and the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, Breaker of Chains and Mother of Dragons. Wow, um, so how much control do you have over the speech output? Not only does it do casual conversation, but it can sing too. Check this out. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Because I'm Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating. So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Well, I certainly wasn't expecting that. Well, hey, thanks for interviewing with us today. We'd love to integrate your work into our technology. Um, when, when can you start? Awesome. As soon as I'm done with my coffee. I hope we've convinced you that there's an easy way to create digital avatars for real people as well as cartoon characters. It can be used for video conferencing, storytelling, virtual assistants, and many other applications. We can't wait to put this technology in your hands and see what you invent with it.